This portrait shoot is sponsored by Luminar Neo. So when I'm taking uh, portraits on the street, there's a couple of things that I think about first. The first thing I want to make sure that the lighting looks good on their face because you could be in the nicest location. If she doesn't look good, she's not gonna like the picture. You're probably not gonna like the picture. So lighting, even though it's a cloudy day, light is still directional. It's coming from this side. I have her just kind of like spin in a little circle. See where the light's coming. It, it looks good from this angle. It's like a big soft box. I like these little white, what are those called? Little white flowers. So what I'm gonna do is end up just shooting from a lower angle and try to fill the frame up as much as possible with all of those little white flowers. Put the camera down to your side. Just hold it off to your side. Look down the sidewalk, yep, chin down, eyes up. Yeah, love that. Let's let's get away from the pole. No trees and poles for you, okay? We're gonna get demonetized now. So now I wanna edit this photo of Kayla holding the vintage camera in Luminar Neo. Illuminar has presets, but they're not your average color presets. They're presets on steroids, or at least that's what I call them. I, I chose the vignette preset for this one, and it makes other adjustments to the image, like adding a vignette or smoothening the skin. It just all depends on which one you choose. And if you weren't filling one of those preset adjustments, you can fine tune any one of those in the edit tab. Like what I do for most of my portraits, I go into face AI and line up the under eye a little bit using the dark circle removal and make the eyes pop a little bit more by increasing iris flare. In Skin AI, I added some light skin smoothening and a little trick that I use to make my shots look more urban in city is I lower the saturation of the greens in the trees and the blues that are found in the sidewalk and in her jacket so that it, it looks more gray. We got this, uh, this pizza restaurant. I really like this area here. It's rustic. like, yeah, very rustic. I'm gonna shoot here and instead of just having her free stand, I'm gonna just have her lean on that. That, that always helps. And uh, your purse, Ryan. Thank you. All right, now I'm gonna just take a walk around there and see what the background looks like. So I got those ugly red chairs. So I'm gonna just shoot like with the staircase behind your head. Hold, hold the camera more forward, more in front of you. Not like this, you look like quinceanera. This pose gives me that lifestyle, Instagram vibe. And because of how rustic the scene looks here, I, I thought it was a good idea to go with a very muted edit. I went with the low key preset. I think it fits the vision that I have for this shot. First thing I did was turn down the highlights, the whites and the vibrancy so that everything could kind of blend together. Using skin AI, I added a little bit of skin smoothening. In face AI, I was able to only add a little touch of light to her face by simply dragging that slider. In the HSL tab, I desaturated and reduced the luminosity of most of the colors a little bit more, especially those blues on that door. Luminar Neo has Atmosphere AI where you can add fog, mist, or haze to your image. And I added a little bit of haze to the bottom of the image, softening things up a bit. The finishing touch was adding a matte to the image, you know, kind of fading it, making that transition to the blacks a little less harsh. See, the tricky part here is that the light is coming directly from above. I'm gonna use those doors. Walk there and then walk back. Go ahead, go ahead. And now walk back, walk this way. No, no, turn, spin and then walk back. <laughs> yeah. Looking back. Try it again. Looking back and down. Yep, exactly. Ooh. Because I'm a freak of uh, symmetry, get in the middle of, yep, those lines. So we've got some light, oh, the lights are, those lights are reflecting off the window, so now it, I add some, oh, uh, <laughs> you better know that by now. You just wanna like, just fix your hair, so it gives you something to do, so you look busy. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm using, I'm gonna use these plants as a foreground element to shoot right through them.
when I brought this image into Luminar AI, I noticed, you know, the greenery in the foreground, and then I got some of that bright red in the background. I was gonna go for a more saturated edit for this one. In the Easy Landscapes collection, I'm really digging that forest stream preset. It really warms up the image, gives me those nice vibrant colors that I'm looking for. I went into the edit tab and I was looking over some of the adjustments that the preset had made. And the landscape tab is the one that really caught my eye. When I increased the foliage enhancer, it really makes those greens pop. Bumping the golden hour slider made the image warmer and brought some life to those skin tones. I went back and used the erase tool. And instead of having to manually clone out the text on the restaurant window behind her, I can just brush it all over and let the AI do its thing. Relight AI is one of my favorite tools in this software. I made a whole dedicated video on it. I can adjust the lighting in the image using the 3D depth mapping without it affecting any other part of the photo. And by turning down the brightness near slider, I can selectively darken only the foreground without it affecting any other part of the photo. In the color tab, I made some adjustments to specific colors like yellow. You know, I wanted this image to be vibrant, but I do like a more minimal color palette in my photos. So I desaturated the yellows a little bit so that the greens could really stand out. And then I also changed the hues of her pants to a lighter tone. Running out of locations. So um, busting out the, you know, the, there's an LED sign there and um, there's some other LED lighting going on in there that's gonna make some, as, as some good background blur, this is an easy shot. I'm gonna have her just lean on the wall just so she's not like freestanding. It, it kind of gives her something to do like this. Yeah, yeah. Looking, looking over at me for a second. Like that, like that. That bend. Turn your chin more toward me like this. Just like that. Love that. Okay, F. This was a very low key, laid back kind of photo shoot. But I do hope that you learned a thing or two about my process, how I see the world, and also how I approach editing colors in Luminar Neo. I've been using Luminar for a couple years now, mainly as a plugin, and it has gotten much better over time. But the thing that I like about Luminar the most is how like the barrier to entry to, to get a creative outcome. You don't need to watch any complex tutorials or have any special set of skills to achieve something in another software. You can do it using the AI tools in Luminar. If you wanna check out Luminar Neo for yourself, I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description box. Her eyelashes are like baseball hats. They're just, to get light in there, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's a little tough. So we gotta, we gotta work with it.